a huge mistake that beginners make when they want to learn 3.js is that they start with learning 3.js. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about the 3.js roadmap, and I'm going to show you one of the paths that you can take to get good with 3.js. Now, keep in mind that this roadmap is designed by me based on my experiences. So you should take everything I say with a grain of salt. And now with that being said, let's get started. So this roadmap has different levels and level one is where you know how to code with JavaScript. Now, many people at this stage start with learning 3.js and that's a mistake as I said in the intro. I think many people here don't really understand the basics of 3D graphics. And when you know nothing about 3D graphics, learning 3.js can be very difficult. So learning a software like Blender first can be a great starting point because it teaches you how to think about composing a 3D scene. And it really doesn't matter if you learn Blender first or 3.js first, ultimately you will need to learn it. So some of the things that you need to focus on in Blender is the basics of lighting, the basics of creating geometry, uh, creating materials, and uh, more specifically, you need to focus on the shader node tab and the geometry node tab. So these are some of the things that are very important. If you understand some of these things, you will have a much easier time at learning 3.js. Okay, so level two now is where you know how to make good looking scenes in Blender. And uh, this is the important thing about Blender, right? Uh, you will learn how to make good looking scenes with it. And now you can start learning 3.js. So 3.js is basically a rendering API, in my opinion. It's not a game engine. It's not like Unity or Unreal. It's not even close. It's just that a rendering API. It gives you the ability to render things on the canvas uh, within your HTML DOM. Now, there are a couple of paths that you can take to learn 3.js. In my opinion, if you know React, uh, you can get started with React 3 Fiber really quickly and learn the basics there. Uh, this is what I did, and I think React 3 Fiber gives you the correct amount of abstraction when you want to get started. Now, uh, I don't use React 3 Fiber in my projects, um, but I think it can be a fantastic starting point. So now for learning the actual 3.js API, you will have two routes. One route is the paid route, uh, which will get you started quicker. And the other route is the free route. So with the paid route, uh, you should buy the Bruno Simons course on 3.js. It's called 3.js Journey. It's a fantastic course. It has a lot of positive reviews and I've watched it myself. It's fantastic for getting started. Now, if you don't want to pay that money and you want to go the free route, uh, that's also possible. So what you will need to do is go into 3.js Journey website and see the topics that are covered in that course. And you can what you can do simply is you can uh, learn all of those topics yourself. Now, uh, there are YouTube tutorials out there uh, that will teach you the basics, as well as my videos, which will teach you the basics of shares. Uh, but you have to keep in mind that with the free route, you have to do the heavy lifting yourself. And uh, I think if you if you can invest um, in the course, definitely do it. And okay, now you are at level three, where you know how to create an okay looking scene in 3.js. And you understand the basics of 3.js and 3 graphics. Now, this is the part that you should heavily focus on your shader skills. Because if you learn how to write great shares, other people's projects will be here and yours will be here. The difference will be enormous. And for learning the basics of shares, you can watch my videos here on YouTube. I have a full three hour crash course, which you can go ahead and watch. And the good news for you is that right now I'm working on a course about shares, which will take you from zero to being able to work full time as a share artist. So follow me on Twitter and hit the bell icon here on YouTube to get notified when I drop that course. And moving on, now you are at level four. This is where you know how to create amazing 3D experiences with 3.js. And this is where you kind of need to choose your own path. Um, you might want to create amazing websites. You might want to create games on the web. You might want to become a share artist. You might want to, I don't know, create tools like Blender, but on the web. Uh, so uh, you need to kind of choose which direction you want to go into. And this decision is essential because it will help you create your own unique portfolio. And I am going to make a video on how to make your own unique portfolio 
to get the job that you want to get because with with creating a portfolio what you want to do is you want to filter out the clients that you don't want and i'm going to talk about this more in that video and now ladies and gentlemen this is the part that you've been building yourself up for level five is where you get a job in the industry and this part will definitely need its own dedicated video but what i will say in this video is have high standards and the team that you will be joining will hugely impact your personality and your technical skills. And now when you gain more experience in the real world, if you work on your skills, you will reach level six. Level six is where you are in the top 1% of developers. And now there's only two more things that is left for you to do. One is creating cool shit. And uh, with your current skill level, you are a master at what you do. And uh, you should use that skill to create amazing stuff for the world. And the second thing that you need to do is teach what you know to others. Maybe start a YouTube channel, maybe start a blog post, do whatever you want to do, but start teaching others and you will find that you will learn even more things when you teach others. And my hope is that people watching this video right now will someday guide other people to reach mastery in something. And this is the type of community that I want to build. And speaking of community, we now have a Discord server which you can join. And that's going to be where I can chat with you guys. And if you had any questions, you can ask there. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this roadmap. And uh, definitely share your knowledge with others if you have any experience in this field. And now you can watch two of my videos that YouTube is recommending if you want to. So take care of yourself and I will see you in the next videos.